So our next speaker, our next igniter, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Our next igniter is Liza Bouchard, who is a Valley entrepreneur, uh, as are almost all of our, our speakers tonight are either ar Valley artists or entrepreneurs. And uh, Liza is the CEO of Firehouse Studios, a very successful design studio in Amherst, and has launched their first uh, online web service uh, globally over the last uh, six months. And we've been really excited to watch it go out there. And we, think, we thought it was an awesome opportunity for us to all learn what it takes in this day and age to launch a web service. Because it, it used to be long ago, you needed racks of servers of IBM 390 mainframes for billions of dollars to get something online. And now, you just need like... 10 Bitcoins. 10 Bitcoins. <laughs> Do I hear 12? Do I hear 12? You ready, Eliza? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Can we hit it? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. So this is the story of a bug, but I'll get to that later. First, I want to share a story about a common problem. A few years back, I hosted a potluck party. My friends called to see what they could bring, and I replied, hey, bring anything. And then, then I had potluck hell. Everyone brought a dessert, and no one brought food. I, it was terrible. I was a bad host. I think you've all been there, yeah. And I realized there must be a better way to organize a potluck party. Coordinating through email didn't work. I wanted a simple online sign-up sheet tool, a place where I could list stuff I needed for the party, my friends could see the list and sign up, no duplications, no email, and phone organizing. Instead of bringing something, they could bring it. But there weren't any good sign-up sheet tools online. So I decided I would create one. This will be easy. My company designs web tools, I preach about simplicity, I could do this, and it would be an overnight success, like Facebook. I was ready to go. <laughs> so Bring It Sign-Up Sheets was born. We started to build Bring It, and what I thought would take two months to create, yeah, yeah. So what I thought would take two months to create ended up taking six months, and when we finally released Bring It to the world, almost no one showed up. <laughs> and the few people who did try it, they gave up and never came back. It was a complete failure. The solution <laughs> was to join the PTO at my son's school. <laughs> These people run events every week, and they needed online sign-up sheets. I showed them Bring It, and they had no idea how to use it. It wasn't their fault. What I thought was a really simple tool apparently was too complicated. So we decided to tear it down and start all over. We removed everything that wasn't essential. While the competition added features, we made our tool simpler. Two more months of development, and here is what we released. A simple sign-up sheet. It lets you add items, times, and tasks. You can share the sheet with anyone via email, the website, or Facebook. People see what's on the sheet and sign up. Instead of having 10 times at your party, now people bring exactly what you want. Feeling good about the latest version, but not trusting my own instincts, I went back to the PTO to show them Bring It, and this time they got it. Bring It was finally easy to use, and we were about to get the first real test in front of a big audience. It was the moment of truth. Teacher luncheon. <laughs> the PTO planned a spontaneous lunch for 50 teachers, and they used Bring It. With only two weeks lead time, they mobilized the parents and got donations for a three-course meal. It was a huge success. Best of all, there were no duplicate items. <laughs> Getting tracked. And that's when I knew we had built a good tool. The PTO started using Bring It to organize school activities from field day to the Scholastic Book Fair. School events, which have been a nightmare to organize, now have 70 to 100% parent involvement. Bring It made organizing easy. So I figured schools would use it, but I never would have guessed the other wild uses once other people started using it, like the park service scheduling whale watching tours, or a skydiving team coordinating base jumps, a marching band scheduling fundraisers, or an Ivy League school planning beer pong tournaments. <laughs> so it's also used by clubs and sports, sports groups, religious groups, researchers, families, businesses, organizations for things like Bible breakfast, Valentine's parties, science fairs, greenhouse tours, and a chili cook-off. We didn't plan this either, but Bring It is even used in other languages, like this French dinner party. <laughs> Notice dish number one is called Playboy Rabbit Hunter and Sausage. <laughs> chosen, <laughs> chosen by Hugh Hefner. Um, the uses are limitless. So I'm often asked, how does Bring It make, make money? Well, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> which makes me proud, and it spreads itself. So one person shares a sign-up sheet with hundreds of people, and it catches like a bug. That's when I realized we needed a mascot. This is the Bring It Bug. So we, I realized 
we needed a face that would help people remember us, and we needed a voice. And coincidence or not, three months after introducing the Bring It Bug, our site traffic went up 300%. So unlike the first release, people now come back and use Bring It. And it starts in one area, like Atlanta, Georgia, you can see here, and spreads outward as people share with their communities. And those people use it and share it. So what started as a small idea here in the Valley is now in over 50 states and countries all over the world, including Canada, Australia, the UK, Hong Kong, Philippines, Russia, Belgium, Nicaragua, Estonia, wherever that is, <laughs> Costa Rica, Japan, and finally, thanks, because Bring It has helped a lot of people, and a lot of people here in the Valley helped make Bring It happen. Um, so special thanks to those of you who helped, and thanks to the Fort River School Parent Council, where it all started. <laughs> screen here so thank you but so bring it has actually taught me some lessons um, such as if you have an idea go for it keep it simple and there you go that's the end so thank you <laughs> thank you Liza Burchard if you've got an idea go for it and keep it simple is there really anything else and for River PTO thank God for all the PTOs there's no doubt about it um, have, have you guys ever, really seriously, bring it? Is, it's please bring it, right, Liza? Please, please bring it. Pleasebringit.com. If you need, really, if you're having a potluck, we use it. We've used it for potlucks. It's awesome. And uh, as you can see, people are using it all around the world, and it's right here in the valley. And this is the concept. This is something that, that a, a number of us go out to UMass and we speak to students. And you guys know it too, is that, you know, you don't need a whole lot of capital. You don't need rooms of, of computers. You actually don't even need the Bitcoins. You can actually yeah. launch a web service um, on your own and you don't even have to be a programmer. There's programmers out there. If you figure out what you want and what you need, you can find the people who can build the, the programming for you and build a company around it today without any capital, very little capital. It's awesome. And I think Liza is a great example of, of what she's done with that.